but he inspired me, Sam. I wrote something. Ooh. I wrote a novella. Chap- uh, well, I wrote one chapter. You know, I didn't put that much effort into it. And uh, I, I'm, I'm willing to, uh, to share some of this with the audience. It's called Fox, but like, but like faux, you know, like F-A-U-X <laughs> in the hen house. A novella by Max Sand. You ready for this, Sam? Yeah. <clears throat> he sat in front of his computer, writing as he liked to do. It was never very good, but that never stopped him. After finishing a particularly bad chapter, he sat back in his chair with ripped armrests and sighed loudly. This one will be the one. I just know it, Jimmy said. Jimmy Fox, by the way. Uh, <laughs> not as certain as the words might indicate. Ever since Evan quit editing his books, he hadn't sold a single one. To be fair, when Evan was around, he only sold a few. And this was clearly not going to be a career path for Jimmy. But what was at this point, he hadn't had a job in eight years. In fact, it had been roughly eight and a half years since he lost a job at a big computer company. And his brother's couch isn't really comfortable. <laughs> Much less when he gets the daily... When are you getting a job and moving out, Jimmy? Speech, his brother is so, so fond of giving. They just don't understand, he thought. He's an author, and sooner or later, someone will buy his books. He just needs to push the problems of life off and build his online presence. Said presence had been underwhelming, lately to say the least. You see, all Johnny's friends conspired to turn on him at exactly the same time, and in fact, had been faking being his friends online for years. Outside of the internet, he has no friends, so this was a big deal to Jimmy. Ever since they caught him stealing gameplay footage while live streaming, they'd all worked together to screw him over. And only that fateful night of his terrible live stream, when everybody laughed at him, did he realize the truth far too late. Jimmy sat in horror as he realized they were all mocking him, laughing at him. He could feel the laughter in the deepest part of his heart, reverberating to and fro in cackles and giggles. A knife would have been more merciful, but they didn't want mercy on poor Jimmy. No, they sought torture and picked the most sick and twisted weapon of all. Mockery. They claimed he was a lull cow, and he knew what that meant now. And no, he could never be that. He was not a loser who lied told big fish stories and got angry and made a fool of himself. He was a nice guy, a sensitive artist and an author, God damn it. Drifting out of his daydream, Jimmy stared at the page again, rereading his work. Yeah, this one will be great. When his computer made that sharp dinging sound he set whenever he gets mentioned online. Oh no, not again. This thing was specific. It could only mean one thing, and that sound hung low in Jimmy's gut for a moment, wriggling around into the pit before settling into his balls in an uncomfortable but not entirely painful ball of anxiety. It's fucking him again, Jimmy exclaimed, forgetting his brother was right there. James, shut the fuck up, his brother Jailer replied. I worked all day to feed your fat ass, and you can't even have the decency to be quiet. Are you off your meds again? I told you, I won't take them. They're part of the conspiracy. And anyway, it's my stalker fan again. He made another video about me. You mean the guy who points out you're a fat loser who should spend less time online and more time trying to get a fucking job and get out of my house? The brother spat the words out with pure venom. No, I mean the stalker who's accepted <laughs> using my fame for clicks and ad revenue. John, now leave me alone. Jimmy was meeker now, quieter. He knew he'd been pushed too far. Okay, Jimbo, whatever you say, just send me the link to his new video. He's right about you, and it's always funny. The hateful brother said these words with that same smug tone the stalker used. Fuck you. He is not. I'm a famous author, goddammit. Jimmy yelled furiously and then sobbed. He clicked the pop-up, and there it was. Jimmy Fox exposed. Ten new lies from the Fox Man, read the title. Jimmy inhaled. <laughs> held it for a few seconds, and then exhaled deeply and clicked play. His one last loyal fan told him not to even watch. But this one had 50 views and comments. The first thing he did is pause and look at the comments. 
and that dread ball in his nuts flared right back up and spread into his chest. Why does Jimmy lie so much? He's so weird. That one was from Solar Angel? His Solar Angel? But she used to watch his streams, and he was going to make her his girlfriend. This monster stole his angel and poisoned her mind, too? This has gone too far. What could he do? Tears formed as he clicked the button to unpause the video, and there he was, the stalker. In the corner was his face cam with weird flags and a shirt reading online asshole tacked up to the wall. In the middle was a picture of, wait, wait, is that my new book, Jimmy said? He was reading it in a stupid mocking voice and stopping to make jokes. Wow, this is some terrible writing, the stalker kept reading in that smug voice. The arrogance of this man, he didn't understand how hard writing was. And the best part, ladies and gentlemen, is here on the back cover. He flipped open the book to About the Author section. Jimmy had signed all his books, John Faulkner, a pen name he made up, and used a photo he liked. Yes, the photo was old, and he used a filter or two and maybe some AI, but it was him. What was he really going to say about this? Jimmy realized he was holding his breath and quickly exhaled and inhaled again, only to hold it once more. He says he lives in London. Says it on his website, too. But here in this message, the man clicks a few keys and the main screen changes to a direct message. One he sent to his former editor, Evan. Oh, God, no. Where he says, I will have you know I contacted a lawyer right here in South Carolina and retained another one in L.A. I will sue you and your brother for everything you caught suckers have unless he deletes these videos now. Well, Jimmy, I can call you Jimmy, right? I know you sign books as Johnny, but your name is Jimmy Fox. Anyhow, Jimmy, it's interesting how you claim to live in one place and then say you're in another, and how do you, and how you claim to be uh, destructed and then or destitute. I'm sorry, destitute, and then claim to be rich and famous. It's almost like the man paused with a hideous grin, laughed a little, and continued. It's almost like you lie about basically every word that comes out of your mouth. No, Jimmy, I don't think I will delete anything, and in fact. We will be making more content about you, your books, and your lies going forward. It's so much fun, and you're such a good sport about it. Until next time, Jimmy, have a fine evening. It was at this moment Jimmy knew what he had to do. Not just what he wanted to do, but what he had to do. It was right then and there he knew he had to kill this man. I'm going to kill Max Sand, he yelled. Didn't I tell you to shut the fuck up, James? Jesus Christ, waking me up again? And you'll be sleeping in the fucking dumpster, his brother said, rolling over and back to sleep. Jimmy stayed quiet for the rest of the night. He didn't sleep, however. He plotted. He wrote his plan in great detail. Max would understand. He was going to make him understand. Scene. <laughs> Damn, that is actually... And that that's a first draft, I, I imagine. Well, yeah, yeah. I just wrote, I just fucking put that together in like fucking 10 minutes. And I tried to write it in his style, which is why it's so bad. <laughs> uh, I used I used specific wording from his books uh, for a lot of it. Yeah. Still, even with his bad style, it was good. Well, yeah, you can have bad writing that still tells a compelling story, right? Yeah. 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 Not not if you're Johnny Fox, though. <laughs>